How can marriage and mission be one sphere of life? It's a bad question because they are one sphere. We divide them up. They're not naturally divided. That's why you don't have a huge discussion in the New Testament of the tension between ministry and family. It's just not there. We have set that up because we naturally look at these two things as separate dimensions. Now, if I could rephrase the question, a better question is, what tempts us to look at marriage and ministry as two separate dimensions? And I think the answer is our misunderstanding of the gospel. And if you misunderstand the gospel, you misunderstand who you are as a believer. I don't have two dimensions in my life. A call to Christ is a call to ministry. Where do I do that? Wherever I am. Marriage is ministry. Parenting is ministry. Work is ministry. Family is ministry. Entertainment is ministry. It's all ministry because I've been chosen to be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. The best New Testament word for this, I think this is a drop-dead gorgeous word, is ambassador. I've been called to be an ambassador. And what's the only thing an ambassador ever does 24-7? Represent. I mean, if you're, if you're an ambassador of the United States and you're in Saudi Arabia, you know that you're an ambassador 24-7. An idle conversation on the side where you forgot that you were an ambassador could create an international controversy. So the same thing, I wake up in the morning with a sense of ambassadorial calling. Message, methods, character of the king, I'm called to represent. And I do that wherever God placed me. So there, there is no separation. We've, we've set that up. And we need to reorient our thinking that everybody who's called to Christ has been called to ministry.